Coming to you live from their studio in South Florida, Twist Gaming. Featuring lead broadcaster, Matt Coza. Co-host and creative genius, Josh Perry. Co-host and interviewer extraordinaire, Ann Lazito. Co-host and marketing mogul, Aaron Murphy. With appearances from special guest, Lucy. Welcome to Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. We're coming to you live here from our studio in... It's it's dark out because of this time change. Dark, South Florida. Bringing you another episode of Twitch Plays Kingdom Death. We're doing an ongoing campaign of Kingdom Death Monster with you fine folks at home controlling one of the characters, voting in polls, making decisions, and deciding uh, what bugs you want to eat. Yeah. Uh, before we go any further, I would like to give a shout out to uh, the Op this week for sponsoring yep. this stream and all of this week's streams uh, with their spotlight of uh, Talisman uh, Batman Super Villain Edition or something like that. Batman. I don't know. Batman. Batman's that name. No, you don't play as Batman. You play as the villains. But I'm Batman. I'm Batman. But with that, I'm Matt. I'm Josh. And we are Twist Gaming. So, Joshua, what happened last week on Twitch Plays Kingdom Death? We killed the level two White Lion. Was it close? No, no, it was like, <laughs> boom, you're dead, and that that's all that happened of it. Boom, you're dead, and that's all that happened of it. So, Joshua, yeah, um, I need you to do me a favor and yeah. put up a poll. For what? Because we need to decide if we're bringing all noobs on this hunt or if we're bringing the good guys and maybe one noob to take the armor. So, tonight we will be fighting a Kingsman because it's the most wonderful time of the year. Um, but, as you all know, the Kingsman has its downside. So, there's that. Uh, so... So, I'm going to try... Uh, Twitch has a new poll option thingy. Uh-oh. You're going to break it. We're gonna, how long should the poll be up for? I'm going to put it up for three minutes. I don't know. Start poll. So, you guys in chat should see it. I can't see it. We can't see it. On here. But how am I supposed to do it if I can't see it? Is like a countdown timer? Mm -hmm. I'm confused. And they're voting on it. What are they voting? Uh, right now, eight teams winning. Uh, you want to get the board set up? No. <laughs> so I'm just going to use Mr. Reachington. And do that. It was really hard streaming last week. Why? Because Mr. Reachington. What is the chances for eight team? I think eight team has a decent. Oh, shot. we're going to win. It's not like we're not going to win. Might get beat up. We don't know yet. Joshua, we're going to get a, we're going to obliterate him. You know that's how it works. Obliterate your bunghole. That's disgusting, Joshua. Um, what were the randoms that we got? Uh, we got a uh, toppled column and some acanthus plants. You're an acanthus plant. I'll give you my acanthus plant. That's weird. You're making it weird. <clears throat> Near. Extra speed from Eden Skulls should help if we punch or use non slow weapons. Yeah, please win. Fighting the Abomination should not be a trivial. Oh, are we fighting an Abomination? Um, that's for next stream. Oh, okay. That's the next quarry. Because it's the next quarry monster, yeah. right? Okay. Um, you set these up somewhere. I don't know where you want them. Just put the yeah, old pillar it. over somewhere by you. You do it. You do it. I put do the it. Canthus wherever we start. Nope, you do it. I don't want to do it. I don't have his hit location deck. You didn't give me his it's hit location. It's right there, and there's another card. That you, you didn't give in. me his hit Don't shuffle his hit location deck. deck. It's already shuffled. Don't shuffle his hit location deck? Yes. Why because it has the Battle Pressure cards on top. Oh. Like, why wouldn't I shuffle the hit location deck? <sighs> um, it's on 50-50 pull right now. 50-50? Come on. There's like just a little time left. Go vote. Do it. Do it now. Do it. Nice to meet you. You know what killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age. Now, Josh? I, I think I enjoyed Mr. Freeze. But I enjoyed those bad movies. The Jim Carrey one was so much better. That's the one where they introduced Robin. It's like Robin wasn't terrible. but Who played I Poison think Ivy? Uh, Uma Thurman. It was a very star-studded cast. Yeah. Because that was the George Clooney Batman. So it was George Clooney, Uma Thurman, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Like, 
There's some big names in that. Alicia Silverstone was Batgirl. No, it was a it was a good movie. But it was shot so poorly. It it was very entertaining, and I like what Jim Carrey brought to the table. You know. You think they should bring Jim Carrey back as the Riddler? Yes. Um. No, actually, I don't think he'd, like I don't know because I think in the new like gritty Bat universe. Granted, there's like 18 different Bat universes right now, but they're all dark and gritty. I think that Jim Carrey would be good because, like, while he was kooky back then with his acting, I feel like his acting has gotten more, like, dark and menacing, which I think would still fit in the Bat universe. Know bat what I'm saying? Nips. Yeah, they, that was the Bat Nip movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> think Bat Nip should come back? I mean, I don't think Bat Nip should have ever left, to be honest. Is that what's wrong with all the new Batman movies? Did you see the new Joker movie? The what? New Joker movie? No, I did not. It is excellent. Oh, you saw it? Yeah. Very, I've like very been good. hearing very mixed reviews on it. Like, now that it's bad, just like it's it's not a it's like it's not a comic book movie. Like, don't think that it's a comic book movie. It's mm -hmm. it's a movie about a mental illness, is what it really is. But it's it's very very good. I've just heard mixed, very mixed reviews on it. Not saying it's bad. Not saying it's good. Just that, like, oh, it's a movie. <laughs> it's not a comic book movie. You can't go into it thinking you're going to watch a comic book movie. You know. Um, and there's a lot of people like saying how it how it plays against um, um, mental disorders and like saying this is given some level of this is okay to do like. I don't think that's how Which is kind of dumb. it doesn't come across that way. Okay. What did the poll say? I think like part of it is why people are upset about it is the movie does make you feel like he got a very rough shake at life. Yeah. And there's parts in the movie where you're actually like cheering for him, to be honest. Okay. But then like he kind of starts tumbling down the path of evil and at that point like you kind of feel dirty for ever having rooted for him. It's 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 interesting how they play with your emotions there. How school you making friends? <laughs> Thanks, mom. <laughs> oh no, I hate my team. <laughs> All right, so who did everyone play as last time? Because they're picking the A team. We the A team. It's like Cialis, <laughs> Humorous Olna. Uh, I got semi. You got a semi, Josh. And where's Major Chubby? Oh, it's just amusing hearing that. All right. Um, so who should I bring to get screwed up? I'm going to bring Clavicle. 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 You couldn't find your major chubby, Joshua? Oh, no, I found it, but we needed one person to take the armor. <laughs> so, so you just put it away? So, <laughs> yeah, I put my major chubby away. <laughs> okay. So Spiral Lyle Hopper went. What? They're talking about the stupid KDM oh. thingy that I was telling you about oh. a little bit. Oh. Uh, all right. How much survival do is Twitch going to have? Uh, what's our survival max? Uh, four, I think. I thought it was five now. Maybe. It should say it. Five? On the it says limit four. Okay. So then it's four. Twitch will have four. And they're going to have two insanity, Joshua. And no armor? No armor. Unfortunately. Matt, when are you going to join the KDM bug hunt? You have two days left. I am not. Matt has a life. Humor's only. How much survival is she going to have? Uh, four. Insanity. One. No armor, right? Nope. Uh, What's Thrill Seeker again? Whenever you gain a survival, you gain another survival? Yeah. Okay. Not super helpful for our current fight. No. But uh, I am going to need some strength tokens because I've got the Quixotic. And you've also got Red Fist on one of your characters, yes, right? Yes, I do. Sammy's got four survival, uh, one NV, insanity, and armor. I use Discord. It's not that often. Stop stealing dice for me. <laughs> My dice. My dice. Bad mystery. <laughs> Bad dog. Bark, 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 
start? All right, you ready to go? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. What are we doing? Uh, we're going to go fight things and do stuff and kill things. Josh, give me magic. <laughs> no, 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 like, like Green Lantern magic. Oh, no, yellow! You got to do like the out of the ring. <laughs> Not the one with the board. <laughs> there you go. Okay. <sighs> All right, so, Joshua. Uh, we have no shield, Scrabblefoot. There was once a monster that was led, that was to lead its master's regal procession. First, the monster came as a herald, then its hungry masters. So fierce were the monster's masters that it never thought to protect its own back, knowing what horrors lay behind it. So he doesn't have, like, butt armor. Instinct he guard. He forgot to put his, his pants on? Yes, he forgot to put his pants on. So uh, the Kingsman's going to have uh, 13 health. Yep. Five movement, 12 toughness. Yep. And he's going to have some of these things in here. So these battle tempo cards we're all going to uh, get. Right, Joshua? Yep. So what do these do again? Um, but you just have a status card, and you archive it if you get the secret King's Step secret fighting art. Okay. Uh, so then we've got is this outfighting trait. Yeah, it is. All right, so outfighting. So this is the Kingsman that gains reach two. Reach two, the Kingsman can attack a target up to two spaces away. When the monster moves towards a target and the monster's movement one space away from the target, if the monster was already adjacent to its target, it will move one space away. Uh, this means that the Kingsman can attack on diagonals. Josh, where? I can't see. Hey, sis. They're diagonally. It's not hey, so it's just there diagonally, and then you have sneaky moves, sis. Whatever. So King's Combat. At the start of each monster turn, perform a basic action, then draw an AI card as normal. I forgot, I forgot he did that as well. It's been a really long time since we fought a Kingsman. That's how the last campaign ended. People of the Sun. Was it? Yep, we fought the Kingsman. Did we? And then we got a buck skip because it's like a level two Kingsman. I don't remember that. Uh, King's Aura. At the start of the monster's turn, and whenever the hit location deck is shuffled, place three battle pressure hit locations on top of the deck. Okay. And then we've got Weak Spot. So Weak Spot is the monster has minus four toughness when you attack the monster's blind spot, which for Twitch is anywhere. Right? Yeah. That's pretty good. Okay. So uh, because we are awesome, we oh, go last first. last campaign was seven. Swordsman. Okay. So it was campaign six. Sorry. Departing survivors do not have a hunt phase. Instead, select the Kingsman. Blah, 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 blah. Um, so the survivors are defending their home. They go first. Who are first? Who wants, wants to go, go first? Can anyone hit? Green can hit. Now, mind you, he's got three battle pressure cards right on top. Green can hit still. Who's got the lowest strength? I need my strength, though. Four, way, Josh. four strength. Like your weapon plus your four tokens no, and everything. Four, four. Oh, that's it? Yeah. yeah this can. is the the sacrifice soul. Didn't have him go. Yeah. So we just uh, need just one strength token. Well, we each get one because you have, and then I get two because I've got on one of my characters because I've got a Quixotic. So I have five strength then. What's so, the token? Yeah, Twitch has six strength with before their weapon, so they've got eleven strength, and I've got four, five, six, eight. So yeah, you're the weakest. Do you have enough speed to get to him or movement to get to him? Uh, I have a range six. I have the. Uh Bone darts. Oh, you have the bone darts. Gotcha. Bone darts. Baby bone darts. Uh, hit on a six plus because I plus one accuracy. You only have one speed, though. So hey, you hit. hit once. So you're hitting the... This is not the battle pressure. Did you mix the card? Cards. No, I didn't. You did not put them on top. You were a liar. I did. No, you're a liar. I didn't change the order of anything. So, battle pressure! Oh, the other survivors do have, like, a ton of movement. That's oh, true. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, this hit is canceled. If the survivor is adjacent to the monster, they make king step. I'm not. Okay. I got rid of one of the cards for you guys. I'm going to put this up there. Okay. Let's go next. Um, I'll go next. I guess. Go ahead and put me adjacent to the monster. One, two, three, four, five, six... All right, so Josh, give me a dice. You Not know. on that character. This is you have all your dice right there. No, I have I split the dice in half, man. No, you are a liar. Okay, we have one BT member to grab the armor at the end. So I hit on a four plus. One seven nine two. So two, two hits. hits. Two battle pressure cards. Two battle pressure cards. Do I want a king step? Uh, 
Why not? You get the king steps. Fight art. I, f I forget if it's like worth it's it. Okay. It's not bad. I'm gonna it's look, not great. Look at it. I forget like if it's like worth it to try for it. Or if it's gonna you like, get rid of the cards easily though. Kill me. It'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay, so I'm gonna king step then. Um so add plus one for each tempo token you have. I've got zero tempo tokens. Oh, don't we lose movement each turn? That's on level two. I, don't know. I rolled a four. The monster easily predicts your motion and skewers you with your own momentum. Spend one survival or suffer a random severe body injury. Gain a tempo token. Joshua, I don't need a tempo token. And I'm going to spend a survival. I figured you would. Bug patch. Babe, really? Baby bug. Josh, are you allowed to squash bugs while playing tonight? No, no, not really. Yep, I don't know where that went, Josh. You shouldn't drop it then. Mm -hmm. I don't care. I gave you another one. Go. Go, Josh. I gave you another one. Go. Is Twitch going to go next? Go. I don't know. You killed all the battle pressure cards, so they should go. Yeah, I did kill all the battle pressure cards. One speed. Last meal soup now. Good time to try to overtake Josh. So they're attacking. They only roll 1d10. Because their weapon. It's slow. Very, very slow. So slow. So slow. But if they hit it, then they're they're like, good. Good. They're like, good, man. They rolled a, a two. two. Is their accuracy? Two. Their weapon's a six plus, so that's a four plus. They've got plus one because they're in the blind spot, so that's a three plus to hit. Good job, chat. You missed. I have the sword, so it's two plus two speed is four dice. We're all like Josh last night. Free surge. You got no surge. Five, five, six, two. I hit on a four plus. Okay. Uh, so that's three hits. Five, five, six, two. All right. There, there. <clears throat> okay. Let's see what this does. It's good. It's good. Yeah, we'll do this. Okay, so first up, you're attacking the Regal Helm. All right, so I have one, five strength. My weapon's got two, so that's seven. Okay. Uh, so it's a five plus to wound. Five plus to wound. It's a ten. That's a crit. Oh, it's a wound. Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one. Okay. Additionally, because you wounded the monster, you gain one survival. I have my max survival. And the Kingsman staggers and gains minus two toughness until the start of the next monster's turn. So I I went on a three plus now. Now you're attacking the Regal Gauntlets. <laughs> oh, it's a two. Oh, darn. You miss. And then finally, you're attacking the halberd handle. That's, that's another that's ten. That's a crit. It's a crit. The halberd handle splinters. The Kingsman gains a minus one accuracy token. Damn right. Can't wait when they crit on the plumaga thing and get an extra nasty damage. Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one. I did. All right, so now we've all gone. It's the monster's turn. So monster control is going to pass. He's hit. Uh, his battle pressure cards are going to pop back on top of his deck. You're right. You're right. It doesn't reshuffle his deck, right? It no, just puts it on puts top. top. <clears throat> okay, so he's going to do a basic action first, which is going to be Survivor and Blind Spot. Okay. You're supposed to say that's no one. No one. <laughs> it's your job, Josh. Uh, closest threat. All of us. Except for green. Um, so, we get to choose whom then? Uh, no, he's going to take a step back. Oh, that's right. And then he's going to smack us all. Oh, that's right. He does do that. Full move towards target and make a separate attack against each survivor in the highlighted zone. The order of appearance. All right, so switches first. Okay, uh, so he's going to roll three d10s. It hits on a three plus. Twitch has three evasion plus a monster grease, so it is f seven plus to hit. It's pretty good, right? Target someone else like on the side. They could do that, but whatever. 
Matt, remember, don't say A, but he'll get up again when someone gets knocked down. Yes, he has minus action, so it's an A+. plus. So it's yep. no hits. Still no hits. All right, so then it's going to attack the low me. So I have four evasion plus my monster grease. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine plus to hit me. Okay. Oh, get knocked down. Right, really? 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 Really. Uh, so it's going to do three damage to my feet. Um, I do have the lion skin cloak, which would reduce it by one, but I don't want to get knocked down. I'm just going to spend a survival. Okay. I'm going to dodge it. Dodgy, dodgy. And I'm going to hope that I eventually hit one of those cards that lets me get survival? some survival because I have the Thrill Seeker. Right. And then last three air against Little Old Me. All right. So what's your evasion, Josh? Uh, I have three natural evasion plus the monster grease, so that's four evasion. So seven plus, eight plus to hit. Eight plus to hit. Because he's got his minus one accuracy. Thanks, Dark. One hit. One hit. You're a one-hit wonder, Josh. To the body. Let the body do the I will dodge one. it. Okay. So now he's going to draw his AI card. Actually, wait. What? I critted with this character. I have Rhythm Chaser. I gain a plus one evasion token for every time I crit. Oh. I critted once, so I, it would be a 9 plus to hit. That is correct. So I'm good. All right. So then he's going to draw his AI card, and he's doing the hook and pull. So furthest threat in field of view in range. So that's going to be green because he is in range. So move and attack target. Okay, rhythm not. Toker, t Rhythm Chaser is an evasion token at the start. Oh, I have a one evasion token. Either way. I have it written that it's when you crit, you get it, or something like that. Uh, um, only only one crit, uh, because one of them was on a non-crit card. He rolled two tens, but one of them was on a card without a crit. Yep. Um, so, furthest threat, she stops one space away, so he's going to roll three speed, three plus accuracy. Josh, what's the evasion on green? Uh, green has one. Okay, so it's a four plus to hit. Okay. Am I knocked down anyways? Of course Because he walked through you. Uh, so two, five, oh, I'm sorry, seven, nine, three. So that's two hits. Two hits? Yep. And then the move the monster back two spaces without turning, and then target suffers grab. The waste and the body for how much damage? Three damage each? Yep. That's the waste and the feet, not body. Waste and feet. I will dodge the... Agony of defeat? Feet. I have no survival left. <coughs> Did you get a monster grease for this character? Yes. We do have a monster so grease on all should the characters. be a plus one. Doesn't help, though. Doesn't help. Okay. Um, I will take the waste severe injury. Severe injury already? It's three damage. Wowzers. Okay. Roll the ten. Yeah, you're knocked down. Hold on. Uh, belly up. The blow sends you sprawling. You're knocked down. <clears throat> you're rolling good tonight. So, Josh, you're going to get knocked. Monster's going to move back two spaces. And you're going to get grabbed and placed in front of the monster, suffering one grab damage. So he's going to... You get knocked over here. Can you move me into a space? He's going to move back two spaces? Yeah, two spaces. So here? Yeah, can you move me into a space? Because I'm like... In the, on top of like five different spaces right now. It's okay. not even physically possible, but I'm on top of five spaces. All and right. I get one grab damage. Yep. To the body. Okay. So it's our turn again. Actually, right? I technically still have one more survival because I have a shot token. Yeah. It's our turn okay. again. All right. But green and blue are knocked down. Yep. Unless you want to stand me up, Josh. I'll stand you up so you can stand on mountains. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. I will spend the survival to stand you up. Okay. So I stand up. You could take this. Nice thing. use of Mr. Pencilton, Josh. Thank you. Pencilton. Pencilton. That's a dumb name. Okay. So I'm going to go and I'm going to hit him in the left cheek. Oh, sorry. I actually have one more survival. The combo. I had two survival. Update my sheet All right. Time for me to beat him up. And by beat him up, I mean do battle tempo. Uh, seven, four, seven, eight. Four hits. Okay. So, 
I still draw all four cards and then just I only do this once. How does this work? What does battle What does battle tempo say? Uh, this hit is canceled if the survivor is adjacent to the monster. They make king step. You can do them in any order. It doesn't say first strike. Oh, I guess you're right. Um. Okay. So. No, I I don't want to hit this one. <laughs> I am not going to. This is the, so one of the How one. Can he make that hit, Matt? He's facing the wrong way. One of the uh, the hits that I got is the regal faceplate, which is the one where it's like, oh, if you're within two spaces, he spews acid in your face, and you get minus two accuracy token. So I'm just going to conveniently ignore that one and okay. put it in the back of the pile. So I could only do the king step once, though. Correct, Josh? Yes. Okay. So what, th what does the card say? <clears throat> it says uh, the hits canceled. The survivors adjacent to the monster they make king step. That's what I figured. So I'm going to king step. I rolled a 7 plus 1 because I have one of the tempo cards. Right? Yep. Do, 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 do. Do, do, 8. Do, you do, sense do, a pattern do. and foresee the monster's attempt to trip you. At the last moment, you shift your balance, suffer 1 damage to your legs, gain a tempo token. <clears throat> do we have Forbidden Dance? No. Okay. We don't know how to dance yet. So we can't dance if we want to? And if you can't dance, if your friends can't dance... I can't. I okay, just, Josh. Uh, if you're still standing after king step, you can keep king stepping? Because it says this hit or this attack? It says this hit is canceled. So, so yeah. yeah, I guess I could just yeah. keep going. Okay. So then I'll do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Uh, that's, twin, that's 10. Because I had two tokens. <clears throat> So which means I'm still going to have to attack that dumb location. You grasp the pattern behind the monster's fine movements, a rhythm that lets you control the f pace of the fight. You have overcome the battle pressure and learned something valuable. Gain the king step secret fighting art. King Joshua, step. what's the king step secret fighting Baby art? Baby king step. You could dance if you want to. You could king step with your behind. Like that booty cake, Josh. <laughs> with the butthole? That's <laughs> Why covered. Why make a butthole? <laughs> it's so weird. Hello, brothers Murph. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. I like that they came in when we're talking about uh, know, butt cake. Butt cake. Yes. Butt cake. You uh, should uh, explain to the world what King the butt step cake allows is. Allows you to discard a hit location and draw a new one. Oh, so I could potentially even discard that last battle pressure card, maybe, kind of, if Josh ever gets it to me. I've been waiting for this conversation. Yes. <laughs> We were watching one of those, like, Facebook cooking videos, and they were making, like, party cakes for adults. And it's, like, a booty cake. But they got a little too anatomically correct with it before putting the fondant thong on it. Right, Josh? Yeah. It was in the uh, stack of cards that we never put back from uh, uh, the other stream. King Step. Whenever you attack, you may discard any number of battle pressure hit locations drawn and draw a equal number of new hit locations. Whenever you attack after drawing hit locations, but before rolling to wound, you may choose one hit location drawn and discard it to draw a new hit location. So this means that I could technically discard both the battle pressure card that I have remaining as well as no, the other one? No, because we read the card. Whenever you attack, you may discard any number of battle pressure hit locations drawn and draw an equal number of new hit locations. So you get rid of that. But what's the second half of that say? When you attack after drawing hit locations but before rolling to wound, you may choose one hit location and discard it to draw a new hit location. So I it sounds like, like I could do both. Have you rolled the wound yet, though? Like you? No, I haven't. Don't hate them for being perfectionist. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm I'm gonna say that I can do both. Okay. So first, see, Mouse, I'm saying not now because you already rolled, but he rolled on a table. He didn't roll any wounds. Uh, I didn't roll a wound. So I did get a first strike location. And ugh, damn it! If the attacker has any heavy gear, they suddenly feel their knees buckled and are knocked down. I have my cloak on, so I technically have heavy gear. Yep. Shouldn't have worn that for this fight. I forgot about that. Mm. <sighs> okay. You're completely naked with just a cloak on. <laughs> the cloak has become too heavy for you. <laughs> Guys, this is just too much work. <laughs> this cloak's just too heavy. <laughs> That's a hell of a look, let me tell you. Yeah, that's true. At least I don't have to deal with the other card now. Okay. And the battle pressure cards go on top of the deck. Yeah, I did. All right. Uh, who's going next? What's on second? I guess I'll go. With whom? With red. Red. I guess no reason to attack with green right now. 
The green's locked down, so I can't do anything. But it can get up again. What did you need to roll to hit? Uh, four plus. Honestly, Tella, it's been a long time since I fought the Kingsman, and I completely forget how to play the Kingsman every time I play. Cause We're we also play playing people with the skull, so you can't have any leather. Yeah. No leather. All bone. Mm. Go ahead. Uh, it's three hits. Three hits? Yeah, it gets that. Battle hits. pressure. Battle, battle pressure. pressure. Battle, battle pressure. pressure. Which one are you doing first? Uh, the middle battle pressure. Are you king stepping? Yes, I'm king stepping. Okay. I'll step if I want to. I roll the big fat three. Why don't you just leave it on that page? Because I'm busy. Like, what other page are you going back to each time? I don't know. <laughs> uh, you roll a three. The monster swiftly finds an opening in your poor footwork and mercilessly slams your shin. Suffer a random severe leg injury and gain a tempo token. Here, you can have my tempo token. I don't need it anymore. Roll the three. That's two bleeds. Uh, bleeding. Gain two bleeding tokens. <clears throat> Could be worse. Okay. Um, I'm still standing. I'm, I'm still standing. standing better than I ever did. I just killed Twitch and I rolled a two, which is a three with my battle tempo. Yep. So you roll another severe leg injury. Yay. More severe leg injuries. Roll the three. Bleeding. Two, ble two bleeding tokens. <laughs> <laughs> Should I go for the last one? You you get another one of those tokens, by the way. Yeah, it's right there. Here you go. Try this one more time. <laughs> R.I.P. Josh the bleeds in one turn. Should I try one more time or no? Um, No. <laughs> no? No. Okay. Yeah, I'll stop. Because if you roll a three or less, then you get a severe injury. That's with my plus two? Yes. I won't do it. <laughs> Chat says yes. We do have bandages, actually. You two have bandages. Oh, you don't have bandages? I was smart. I brought bandages. Do it. Do we? Do it. Do we? I don't think you risk one of the good survivors here. This is one of our good survivors. This is the one with Red Fist. Yeah. I, I would yeah. definitely wait. Go run behind a column. Like, go hide. Yeah. Can you move me, please? Yeah. He's pussing out, and I give him full permission to puss out. You know what the nice thing is? I just got bleeds, though. I didn't... You didn't get any severe injuries. I didn't get any severe injuries. Yeah, that's, like, as long as you don't die here, then you're okay. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Meow. <laughs> all right. Uh, Twitch go? Yeah. No? Okay. Uh, so I got rid of all the battle pressure cards for them. You did. That was an admirable effort there, Joshua. That's all no. I wanted to do. I mean, do we want them to lose? No, you never want us to lose. <laughs> uh, Stumpy push out. Uh, seven. They rolled a seven. That's a hit. Um, so first strike, Halberd. Do they have any heavy gear? Nope. No, they don't. They're good. So chat's going to go ahead and roll a d10. And then they put all the battle pressure cards on top of the deck. But that's okay. It's going to happen anyway. It's going to happen anyways. But they might crit here. They might crit here. Which would be nice. Might wound here. Probably going to wound. What's what's their strength? I don't know. They rolled a seven. I think that's actually a crit. Yeah, they got three luck. That's a crit. <laughs> Told you. Uh, so, uh, the blow cracks the finely worked spear blade. The Kingsman gains minus one speed token. That's nice. That's a really that's good nice. one. Nice. Very, very nice. Josh, please reduce monster's life total by one. We're done. One and done. And then we put the battle pressure. Cr actually, we don't because that was... In the no, that wasn't a reaction. No, it's not a reaction. It still goes there. Yeah, it still goes. It's still. I mean, yeah. Monster turn now. Yeah. Uh, Twitch can move out of the Twitch way. Twitch should move out of the way because he's going to do his basic action first. So keep in mind that he's going to attack Twitch. Why? Because it attacks the closest threat. I thought it attacks whoever's in his blind spot, which would be you. Oh, I am in his blind spot. You're right. It would attack me. Yep. Okay. That's fine. Uh, so first up is survivor in blind spot. So Josh, how about attack me? So he's going to so he's gonna roll two d tens, and it's gonna be it's gonna hit me on a nine plus. You're fine, probably. Uh, yes, you always resolve the top part if it's really? not part of a reaction. You only cancel reactions, which is the little diamond symbol. 
Uh, to the body. To the body. I'm already knocked down. I'm going to take that hit. Okay. Okay. All right. So now he's going to draw a hit location card. Now remember, I only get Just basic. two damage from then from that. Yes, because you have the line, the my cloak. naked cloak. So Joshua. Yes. Please. I forget what I was going to say. Do something. I don't update anything because you have no armor. I was going to say something. I don't remember what. Okay, never mind. Does it Matt go flying? Oh, oh what's the yeah. monster controller. Oh. Uh, don't you get bash and knockback five? Yes, or something? I do get bash and knockback five. Which is going to give you a damage as you hit that oh. pillar if you do. I'll dodge it. Okay. So you're at one survival? Yeah. Okay. So then. Oh, it's to the side. It's a sweep? Is it. Oh, yeah, it is to the side. Uh, yeah, it is to the side. Okay. Never so mind. I, I won't dodge it. I'll take it. Okay, take it and sweep it. Okay. Is so it towards me or towards you? It is to his left, so towards you. Okay. Five spaces. Did you move six or five? Five. Oh. Uh, so then he's going to do the king's axe. Uh, which and my axe. <laughs> closest threat in field of view and range. Um, There is no one. Uh, I believe both of my both of the two characters that are standing are hiding behind those pillars. Oh. I don't believe he has line of sight to them. So no target is guard. Uh, so guard is going to be the Kingsman ends its turn and gains plus five toughness until the start of its next turn. Okay. So it's our turn then. So he has plus five toughness here, Josh. Yeah, the Kings. Step story event specifically says to discard all unresolved hit locations. Is what Mirak Pop says. Is King Step say to discard all cards? Yes, it does. Okay, so I should only have two bleeds because they couldn't technically roll the second time? Yeah. But technically, you wouldn't have. Yeah, that's what whatever. I okay. Um, so everyone stands back up? Yeah. You want to go first, Matt? Sure. Uh, move me in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep me there. Do you uh, want to hit the butt? Huh? Do you want to hit the butt? I can't hit the butt. You dash. No, I'm not going to dash. Um, or should I? I don't want to use that. It's minus four toughness. And he has what, plus five right now? How much toughness does he have? Twelve? Twelve, but he got the plus from five, guard. So that's seventeen. Seventeen. So I've got... Four, five, six, seven, eight. So I would need to roll nine plus to wound. It'd be crit only. So they're saying chat. You chat says you just shouldn't have king step. You should have two tempo tokens. I would have one more survival then. I think. Why? Why would I? Have more? Never mind. You just got knocked. Oh, thanks, Aftis. I got knocked down. I guess that's the only difference. So I guess I don't have king step. Yeah. That's fine. I never wrote it down anyways. Okay. So it's fine. Um, so you have two tokens, though, and I have yeah. one token. So because I don't have King Step, mm -hmm. I'm going to just attack anyways because I'm probably not going to get to hit the monster regardless. So I'm going to use this as my opportunity to just King Step. Okay. So seven, six, seven, five. So three hit locations. Four hit locations. Three and four. The bad thing is I'm burning through the hit locations. You know? Yep. I forget how nasty his, his uh, tarp card is. Oh, it's nasty. So we said we could do these in any order, right? Yeah. Huh. Do I want to do... I don't think I want to do this. No, I'm definitely not doing this. That'll get discarded. Is it really nasty? I don't. I honestly don't remember. Pretty sure he attacks everyone, and you can cancel it if you have a shield. Yeah, I you rolled don't. a 10. I get I get it. I get King's Step now. Okay. Okay. That's how you do it, son. All right. Uh, Twitch want to go next? Sure, why not? So I'm going to get rid of Orator of Death. 
Should Twitch go next or should I go next? Because I have higher speed. They only have one speed. Uh, you go next. Can you move me over to the Kingsman, please? Uh, red? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go here. Do I want to dash into the blind spot? Probably. All right, so he has how much? Uh, Toughness, 17. 17. Yeah. I have four, five, six, seven. No. Because if I, I use the survival to do it, I don't get... Um, you don't get what? Okay, so I have seven strength. So it's a 10 plus to hit right now. To wound. To wound. If I move into that, it'll be a six plus. But I have three luck, so I crit on a seven plus. So is it worth the extra... Plus one. Plus one. Yeah, probably not. Though a lot of his... Do a lot no, of his I'm cards sorry. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Have crit locations. Or I think we just are some, a handful that didn't. Yeah, there's a handful that don't, but I think a good chunk do have hit locations. I think it's like 50-50. Actually, most of the ones in his discard pile have hit lo have crit locations. Okay, so we're going to stay where we're at. 3-3-1-9. Uh, three, three, that was a horrible roll. That's one hit. Is that really only one hit? One hit. And you're attacking a non-hit location. Non I would have been three if I moved card. to the blind spot. If you hit with the dagger, so... Uh, it's only so I need to roll a 10. A six. Okay. All right. Uh, move Twitch in. Yep. So chat, you're gonna roll a d10. Let's see what you get here. I mean, it's pretty easy for them. What's their strength at? Their strength. They've got six on their weapon. They've got five on their character, plus one strength token. So that's twelve. They have twelve strength. What? Uh, I was just looking at that email. So, they hit. Oh, uh, we have seven movement, not eight. They're attacking the Regal Breastplate. Uh, so, Chad's going to roll a d10. Um, so, they are in the blind spot because they're Twitch. So, they get, what is it, minus four toughness because mm -hmm. of that? So, he's down to 13. Is that 13? So, it's still a two plus for them to wound. Uh, they hit a three, so it's a wound. Yeah. So Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one. Okay. And then that is turn to face the attacker. Then without turning, move the monster two spaces directly away from the attacker. Uh, if the attacker has king step, they may follow the kingsman and move two spaces. Otherwise, cancel all hits now out of range. Burp, burp. And you get, get knocked, knocked back, back five. five. One, two, three, four, five. And knocked down, I believe. Yeah. Okay. And that's the end of our turn, right? Mm-hmm. So now it's Monster's turn. Uh, Much wait, cooler. Did, no, Twitch move. no uh, green hasn't gone yet. Uh, green's not going to do anything, though. Green can't wound. I would recommend that Twitch dash out of the way, because otherwise the basic attack is going to hit them also. I think it's worth moving out of the way and not having to deal with it. If he targets one of you, yeah, can't we have them dash and he follows and he won't be able to hit them? Because they can move further than he can move. Technically, that's correct. So. Okay. I guess we could do that. Um, so, basic action is going to happen. So, because Twitch has... Oh, uh, chat said move me one because this one's just closer. Thank you. Uh, because Twitch has more survival, I would recommend that they kite him. Okay. So, uh, just move him a little bit out of range, Josh. I'm just using Green's movement to actually do something. I'm going to collect this acanthus at some point. Okay. Um, so, one, two, three. What's his movement? Four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. Kite. Kite. All right, so nothing happens. Okay. So then it is. He's going to draw a card. He's going to draw a card. <laughs> and they did reduce the Force survival. thrust. Uh, I did not reduce the survival yet. Okay. So force thrust is the closest threat in field of view in range. That's you. Yeah. Uh, so full move towards the target. And make a separate attack against each survival. Oh, of course, you had to move green, didn't you? Yep. You had to move green. 
Okay, so two speed. It's hit me on a nine plus. Then <laughs> if like I was here, you would like if you got knocked back and into me, you could. I mean, you could dash with green right now, can't you? I do have a survival. I would recommend doing that. Yeah, I'll sur I'll dash. Dash right here. All right, so he doesn't hit me. Okay, I will use my last survival. It's the end of our turn. End of the monster's turn. It's now our turn. Okay, battle pressure cards go on top of the deck. Yep. You want to go smack him in the face? Yeah, I'll go smack him in the face. A smack it off. Want to hit him in the butt? Um, sure. Why not? Whoop. Nine, four, eight, four. It's four hits. Three battle pressure cards. I'm. Can you? Do you have to discard them all at once, or can you discard them one at a time? Discard any number of battle pressure card hit locations and draw an equal number of new locations. It says, whenever you attack, you may discard any number of battle pressure hit locations drawn and draw an equal number of new hit locations. So I think you have to do it all at once. <sighs> yeah, I think so. You have one more card you have to draw. Yeah. Okay. Do I want to play it safe here and like only take maybe one card? What do you think? But what does it matter? Slow drawing. You do you, boo-boo. Uh, I'm standing right now. I don't like it. I don't want it. Come, Come on, on, draw the trap, Matt. I'm going to discard one. Okay. Trade out all four. No, I'm not trading out all four. Don't. But then it puts all of them back on top. Oh, does it doesn't. Because then he shuffles his hit location deck. Oh, yeah, it would if he hit the trap. So I'm just going to do that. Okay. I'm attacking the Royal Plume first, which is impervious. So I'm not going to be doing much of anything anyways. That's a crit. Uh, the Destroyed Plume drifts to the ground. The Kingsman... Is outraged by the insult. He gains a plus one damage token. Pissed him off. Yep. I Good cut job, Matt. Cut his feather off. But I did it. It doesn't do a damage. Nope. It just pisses him off. Yep. He just pissed him off. Why would I do that? Why wouldn't I just discard that card? Uh, because you could draw the trap card. Eh, I guess. So I'm attacking the. I should have done this one first. Royal Van Braces. Uh. Rolled a two. That's actually a wound. Because I've got two, six, seven, eight. He's got Minus eight. four. Yeah, so it's still a wound. Okay. Josh, please reduce monster's life total by one. <laughs> um, turn to face the attacker, and without moving, turning, move the monster two spaces directly away. I'm not going to follow him. Okay. I'm going to go up green. You're gonna hit I'm going to collect the cat that's under the Kingsman's feet. Because that sounds like a wonderful idea. <laughs> and there's nothing against the rule saying the monster can't yeah. be on top of the terrain. Yeah. I rolled a 10. Yeah, you get you get the shit out I of that. I get the shit out of the cat this. Uh, gain one fresh cat this. Damn right. Damn right. A good Damn canthus. right. And then I'm going to run away. Because <laughs> Kingsman's dairy. Does does Twitch want to go now? Um, I think they should. Okay. Josh, move him in. Where's my... Josh, move him in. Where's my... Josh, move him in. Moomin. Oh. Josh. Is this hot potato now? now. Moomin. You're in. Moomin. Moomin? Moomin. Nude men? <laughs> no. They rolled a four. Oh, they got his regal knees. Boo, mad checking and making us get the trap. You didn't get the trap. Trap, please roll a d10. If the attackers were, see, I'm glad I didn't do that because uh, if I was wearing any heavy gear, I would have gotten knocked down. So it's actually worth it for me not to draw that other card. See, it worked out. Uh, they rolled a six, which is actually a crit. Because they've got three luck and a Zambato, which is deadly. Okay. Right? That's a crit then, yeah, right? It's a crit. Uh, so the Kingsman knee is shattered. Broken knee affects some AI cards. Josh, please reduce the Kingsman's uh, health by one. So the first time we fought the Kingsman, turn like two, we cut the feather off, then tripped the trap while we surrounded him and pretty much got wiped from the extra damage. Battle pressure cards still go on top, though. Holy F, that crit range. 
Yeah, the battle pressure card's still on top, I guess. Okay. Okay. So, Josh, you can go on a Can turn. Red get in range? Um, One, two, three, four, five, six. You get adjacent to him. Yeah, you know, that's sure. That's sweet, let's, sweet range. Let's do that, because that sounds like a wonderful idea, right? You can go for your uh, King's Step card. Eight, three, three, one. That is one hit. Why are you awful at rolling right now? I don't know. Okay, go for your uh, go for your battle pressure, homie. Rolled seven. Plus one. Just one. You sense a pattern and foresee the monster's attempt. I have seven movement, Maelstrom. The yeah. Check. You see a s you sense a pattern and foresee that the monster's attempt to trip you. At the last moment, you shift your balance, suffer one damage to your legs, gain a tempo token. Okay. Here you go. That was a good shot. <laughs> That's a good shot. We ate two skulls, so we have plus two to all movement stats. Yeah. Or all stats. Okay. I'm just going to put that back on top because it's the monster's turn again right now. Okay. Right? Yeah. So basic action. He's going to target the survivor in the blind spot. There's no one there. Closest threat. Uh, Twitch or myself? Twitch has more survival, I think. Yeah, and they've got more division, too, I think. Uh, so it's going to attack Twitch for two speed. Um, I get knocked back five and knocked down again. <laughs> All right, Touche Bird. Uh, they uh, rolled a one and a ten, so that's one miss, one hit. Pretty easy peasy there. It's gonna be for four damage though, right? It's uh, yep. probably one. Probably dodge good time it. to dodge. I think they're gonna dodge it. So Josh, go ahead and uh, reduce their survival by one. So that'd be a severe injury, no matter where it hit. Yeah. Nope. Yay! People with skull and armor. Yeah. I mean, we've got a lot of evasion, so, okay. you know. Uh, so, also, a monster controller moves to you. And now he's going to draw an AI card. And he is going to do cleave! Cleave. Uh, could have had that Kingsman move up and attack from a diagonal, so it didn't knock down Clavicle. He does attack on diagonals. Sure. Uh, closest threat in field of view and range. Joshua. Uh, that's closest threat now would be... It's Twitch. No, it's red. Because red's adjacent. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. So then move back one space. And he's going to attack red. Two speed. What's your evasion with red? Uh, one, four, five. Five evasion? Five evasion. It's not bad. So it's an 8 plus? 9 plus because he might as well. Yeah, so he doesn't hit you. Two misses. All right. That's it. It's okay. the end of the monster's turn. It's our turn? It's our turn now. Do you want to go with red to try and get your king step in? Sure. Or green? That's that's green you move. Sorry. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay. Um, Hitting him in the bum? Hit him in the bum. So I hit on a six, 4, 3 plus. You've been rolling a lot of threes. Yeah. Only on your attack rolls, though. Six, six, nine, four. It's four hits. One, two, three. Tarp card! Acid blood discharge. Gouts of acid spew from the cracks in the monster's armor. The attacker is doomed. All survivors within two spaces of the monster suffer uh, damage to a random hit location equal to the number of wounds on the wound stack. Oh, that's nasty. One, two, three, four, five, six damage. To one hit location? Uh, yeah. Any survivors with the shield may elect to protect themselves and ignore this trap. Return any discarded battle pressure cards to the top of the hit location deck. All right, so we're taking six damage to one location. What do you mean we're? Twitch and I. Yeah, I'm okay. And my green's okay. Yeah. So Twitch needs to roll one hit location die? Mm-hmm. I rolled the head! <laughs> Okay. Twitch rolled ahead. All right, we're going to roll for all of you 10. 10. I'll let you uh, shuffle these back together. Okay, home slice. What do you think I rolled? Seven. <laughs> Twitch rolled a one. Um... They do have their reroll. 
I think this is a Recommend good... Recommend using your reroll. I think you should use a reroll here. I'm just saying. Now they're going to roll a two, right? Actually, should we use Green's reroll? Because they're a sacrificial lamb. They already have the reroll used. They rolled three. It's better. I use my reroll already. There is a bone shield. It's the knuckle shield. Should I use reds? It, yes. Uh, they don't have the acanthus. No, they don't. And the acanthus wouldn't help anyway. It needs to be dried. Yep. One more time? Sure. One more time. Burr, 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 burr. I, for, I didn't know that his trap card was that nasty. Oh, yeah. His, his trap's nasty. It's, you need shields. Yep. They're dead. D-E-D. -E what happens to me? It's our zero presence survivor. That sucks. Uh, what'd you roll, Josh? A seven. Seven. Another roll. Will death be denied? Nope. LOL. Blind. Lose an eye. Suffer minus one permanent accuracy. This injury is permanent and can be recorded twice. A survivor with two blind severe injuries suffers minus four accuracy. Gain a bleeding token. That's fine. <sighs> wow. That sucked. Did you shuffle the hit locations? Oh, and what happens to with their head explosion? Their head explodes. Oops. Um, your head erupts in a shower of gore, killing you instantly. All other survivors are so disturbed that they lose one survival. Cool. So you're down to one. Yep. I'm down to two. Twitch is dead. Good thing that was only our coolest survivor. Um, we still have the Redfist survivor. Yeah, but zero presence is just so cool. It is. That that's that stinks. That really does stink. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. They had three rolls. Three rolls. Three rolls, guys. <laughs> okay. Alright, red's knocked down. But they'll get up again. You're never gonna keep them down. Uh you going, Matt? I mean, yeah, I'll go now. LOL, acid to the face is no joke, Matt. I see that now. I see that. Eh. Uh, I saw the hit location? I mean, you want to give it back? Good. Did you cut it? No, that's for your to do. One of these days, going to get zero presents with a bow, and it will be sweet. I like zero presents. Ten five two six. What so are you talking about, but? Oh yeah. Um, six plus. I've got two accuracy, so it's four plus. I'm in the blind blind spot, so it's three plus. So I miss one of those. So three hits, and I get three of the battle pressures, which I'm immediately going to discard. Get three big boy cards. And you discard one of those if you want now, too. I can. Um, yeah, I'm going to discard this one because it's the spew acid in your eyes card. I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> Do you get the thap card? No, I got the regal plume. <laughs> Yay. Give him some more damage tokens. Uh, I'm going to hit the regal van braces first. Why this one first? What's the second card? Re it's the same thing. Oh. Same exact thing. That's uh, four, so that is a wound. <coughs> Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one. I think he's going to go. Whoop, whoop. And I'm going to follow him. Okay. And then I attack the... Doop, boop, boop. Regal brush plate. Oh, I guess I could cancel the attack after the second one. Uh, that's one. Boop. So he still steps away. I am not going to follow him. So that way I don't accidentally cut his feather off again. Okay. Because he stuck a feather in his helmet and called it macaroni. Do you know what the, the meaning of that was? Yeah. Macaroni is a, a kind of... It's 
called fancy. Yeah, it, it's a way of saying that you thought it was fancy. So yeah. they're saying that he's such an idiot that he just sticks a feather in his hat and he's like, "Oh, look, I'm a fancy boy." Basically, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just like learned that the other day. Yeah. On like a Facebook post or something. I know a lot of dumb shit, Josh. I know you do. That's why I was asking. <laughs> I like that a Kingsman's invisible on the screen. That card should say archive. It should, but he apparently it just regrows back. You gonna go or? He's got lots of feathers. Um. The green's just gonna kind of like hide from everything and just be like, stay away. I'm spooped. And red's knocked down and already went, so that's the end of uh, our turn. All right, so he's gonna do a basic action. So Josh, put him up closer to me. Up in your face. Big disgrace. Waving your hands all over the place. Singing. We will. We will. Rock you. We are the Globo Gym Purple Fighting Cobras, and we will. We will rock you. Are those the best super villains ever? Potentially. Ten and nine. Two hits. The hell? Like. <laughs> you will skull you. What the hell? <laughs> Just what? What the hell, Josh? Dark and super after you. I. <sighs> what does he hit on? Um. I don't know. I have. It's. He has three plus accuracy. He has three plus. He has minus one accuracy. It's a four plus. How much evasion do you have? Five evasion. So nine plus. Nine plus. So he two hits hits. on both of them. Both of them. Both of them. So he hits the waist and the feet. For two damage each. Going to dodge the waist. Three for how much damage each, Josh? Oh, sorry. Uh, it's going to be four damage each, four damage but you each. minus it by one, so it's three damage each. Yeah. So, so I'm going to take a, a severe leg injury. Not a severe waist injury? Or you dodged one? Uh, I dodged the waist one. Okay. So I rolled a six. And that is going to be torn Achilles tendon. Your leg cannot bear your weight until the end of the showdown. Whenever you suffer a light, heavy, or severe injury, you are also knocked down. Skip the next hunt, gate a bleeding token. Okay. Okay. So I'm knocked down now. Yep. Why did I draw that? Uh, oh. So he's going to draw an AI card? Yep. Oh, fuck. Coup de grace. Ah! All survivors are doomed. Target a random knockdown survivor in range. If there are no <laughs> knockdown survivors in range, uh, full move towards the target. Target suffers one <laughs> severe head injury with minus five to the roll result. Hell, man. Yeah. Just so red is survivor. What the hell? Red and green is red. Blue and purple is Matt. What in the ever-loving hell? Oh, it's me. Okay. Cool. Well, he dead, Matt. You have to roll a 10. <laughs> yep. Oh. Rolled an 8. Minus 5. Is a three. Yep. Cuts my head off. I hate that card. That's dumb. Decapitation, you are dead. D E D. D E D, I am dead. K. It's your turn, Josh. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Ask Chad if they want to send the B team. No. I, I forgot how nasty he was. Yeah, I really no, did. Game Ben is a nasty fight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like, all things considered, we've done a good amount of damage to him. Like, it's not like we haven't been hurting him. We just got a couple of really poopy draws. Three plus. Uh, four hits. Okay. You got to do some of your battle pressure. Um, oh, hold on. You get a fourth get, card, too. I get a fourth card. Um, oh, sure. You couldn't draw that for me. Yeah, go ahead and attack this. Eight. That's a wound. Josh please reduce monster's life total by one. You gain a survival. The Kingsman staggers and gains minus two toughness until the start of the next monster turn. Okay. And then go ahead and roll your battle pressure. It's an eight. 
I have two tokens. That's a ten. You gain the King Step Secret Fighting Art. Okay. You want to throw your bone darts with B? Green? I say B. Yes. Yeah. I need to move one space. Ah. He's going to turn to face red because uh -huh. they're in the blind spot. Okay. Monster only has five health left, Josh. Just putting that uh, out there. Hit on six plus. It's a ten. Perfect that's, hit. That's a hit. Uh, you're attacking the Regal Helm. So keep in mind, he's got minus two toughness. Yep. Nine. That's a that's a wound. The attacker gains plus one survival. Awesome. The Kingsman staggers and gets minus two toughness until the start of the night. Why, why couldn't we get these cards before? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Josh, please reduce the monster's life total by one. Uh, what's his health at? Six or five? Uh, it's true. He had four now. Four? Yeah, it's at four right. now. I missed two. Okay. okay. Monster's turn. Basic, he's going to attack the survivor in the blind spot. He's going to move one space back, Josh. Oh, no, he doesn't. Not here. Sorry. Uh, so he's going to roll 2d10. No, he always does. Should I dash? Here? No, I think you're fine. I would dash after the next one, if anything. What's your evasion? It's too late now. Uh, three, four, four evasion. He rolled a one and a four. Okay. He missed. Cool. All right, so now he's going to draw an AI card. Because I can outrun him. I'm and faster than the Kingsman. He's doing hook and pull. This is kind of a nasty one. You might want to... Furthest threat. Scootily, tootily away. All right, so he's going to target green. Oh, it's the furthest threat. That's right. So I'm going to dash with the one survival I just gained. Okay. So one, two, three. Good. Yep. All right. I would have gone right here. I would have stayed out of his range. So that's, that's the end of the monster's turn. Okay. Your turn now, Josh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hit him in the butt. Do it. My left cheek? Yeah, that's left cheek. Remember, he's got his butt flap open. Oh. He, he likes to take things up the bum. <sighs> uh, three plus hits. Three. Nine, nine, ten, two. Three hits. Do you want to redraw these? I, I will redraw all three of them. All three of them? All three. Do you have any heavy gear, Joshua? I do not. Okay, so you have to attack this one first. A one. That's failure. Return any discarded battle pressure cards to the top of the hit location deck. Wait. What? That's fine. What? I could have discarded one of the cards I just drew. Oh. That one's not a bad one to keep, though. Um, Hold on. Do this one. Okay. That's a crit. Monster's knocked down. Boom. Screw you, monster. He got knocked down. We get up again. Uh, hopefully he doesn't get back up again. Hopefully he just stays down. No, nah, he's going to get back up again. All right, so he has three health left? Uh, Yeah. No, he had yeah, three health, sorry. Go ahead and attack. No so reflex here. He's knocked down. Yeah. So does that mean his minus four toughness goes away? Because I'm not still on. I'm in the butt still, technically, right? Yeah, you're in the blind spot still. Six. That's a wound, right? Yeah. Josh, please reduce monster's life total by one. Okay. Hook and pull is his last AI card. I thought he had one more. I only drew three. I didn't draw. Okay. <clears throat> Remember, his battle pressure cards are all on top of the hit location deck right now. You got this. So what should green do? Green can do nothing and you'll be fine. He's going to get attacked by the hook and pull? No. Why? Oh, yeah, you're right. It is going to get attacked with the hook and pull. So have him run this way. One, 
two, three, four, five. He only has five movement. Yeah. Ah. <coughs> okay. Monster's so, turn. Monster's turn. He's going to turn to face red. And then he's going to attack. So we need two D10s. You said you had four sur four evasion? Yeah. That's going to hit you on a seven plus. Don't you know the damn Does that make more sense? Six and seven. One hit. One hit for four damage. I'll dodge. Dodgy, dodgy. Okay. So now he's going to do his AI, which is hook and pull. Eight plus minus one accuracy. Did you take that into account before? No, I didn't. Okay, so then he doesn't hit you. Okay, so we get my. So then hook and pull. So furthest threat in field of view and range. Oh, you know what you should have done? I should have dashed the other one. Mm -mm. You should have moved to where he was gonna go to attack red, and so you'd be in his blind spot. Mm. Uh, that's fine. Um. <clears throat> so he's going to attack green. Green's going to spend... I've been doing this wrong. <laughs> green should have one survival left to use it. I think I, I'm, no, I think I'm out of survival. I'm using my strength token to dash. Oh, yeah. I forgot you could do that. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to move right there. Okay. So that's the end of the monster's turn. It's now your turn. Green, a red's gonna go in the butt. Four hits. Okay. Two, three, four. I'm assuming you're discarding. No. No? Okay. No. So can, can I hit the one location that's there? Uh, you can. It's actually a very good one. All right, I want to hit that one. The Royal Regal Sabatons. It's a six. That you is one. gain plus one survival, and the Kingsman gains minus two toughness until the start of his next turn. And he has one health left, he correct? Has one health left. Good. One, two, three, four, five, into the butt. I can hope this works. So I hit on seven, six, five plus. Five plus. It's a ten. It's a ten. Oh my god, you got the death blow card. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A nine. <laughs> okay. That's how you do it, chat. Screw you guys. If the Screw Kingsman is killed at this location, the monster weakly drives its halberd into <laughs> the ground, pauses, then falls apart. It's empty armor turning to dust as its pieces touch the ground. The attacker that dealt the killing blow gains the Lantern Halberd Rare Gear card. The attacker also glimpses something incomprehensible and may spend five survival to gain plus one permanent accuracy. I don't have the survival no, to do that. No, five survival. But so tempted to heal for one. <laughs> <laughs> we lost en enough today, I think. I, I set that up very nicely for myself. Yeah. no, that was, that I was got well the played. killing blow with the correct character. Yeah. I did everything right. Don't, don't. Then Clavicle throws it to the ground. Because guess what? What? There's another bone keyword. <laughs> Let me see it at least. I forgot about that. Is it like a cool weapon? I don't even remember. It's, like, it's a pretty good weapon. That's annoying. Can we like turn it into something cool? Like maybe like a light fixture? <laughs> That's the guidepost in the vision. Ah, uh, okay. It isn't a lantern glaive, but it's not bad. It's a weapon melee two-handed spear other. It's also a lantern, so you can play in people of the lantern. When you have to have a lantern in your gear grid, it has it. It's actually a lantern. Yep. That's cool. Uh, reach to irreplaceable unique. After attacking, if standing, you may move up to two spaces directly away from the monster. Two, four, seven. That's That's nice. It's a nice weapon. That's a very nice weapon. Cloud goes like, no. Throw it on the ground. Throw it on the ground. All right. That was a, that was a good setup there, Josh. Yeah. All righty. So uh, let me go back to this thing over here. Just give me a second. All 
All right, so Aftermath. Any victorious survivor may immediately select spear weapon proficiency regardless of age milestones. You gain one hunt XP and plus one level of weapon proficiency or plus monster levels of spear weapon proficiency. Uh, Clavicle will take the spear because she has zero hunt XP. Okay. So she can take... Are there any bone spears? Uh, I'm sure there's someone. <laughs> I don't know. I have sword. The air grows still, and a palpable feeling of dread comes over the survivor that dealt the final wound to the Kingsman. King's Curse! King's Curse. How about a chat roll a hit location for me? King's Curse. The survivor that dealt the killing blow feels their heart sink. Tragedy befalls the survivor that kills the Kingsman. Their body starts to sweat profusely, and their flesh bubbles with extreme heat. The survivor must roll a hit location die on the King's Curse table. A survivor cannot gain more than one piece of regal gear per lantern year. Every piece of regal armor set is cursed. Cursed, this may not be removed from your gear grid for any reason. When you die, archive this card. All right, so what did they roll, Josh? Uh, uh, they rolled the feet for Cavical, so they got some cool Searing shoes. Searing pain shoots up your legs from your burning feet. Your leg bones shatter and reform into the shape of plated armor. Gain the regal boots for your gear and place it in your gear grid now. So you got some fancy shoes, Josh. The regal greaves. And this is armor, bone, metal, cursed at the aftermath, king's curse. Uh, and that is going to be four armor. So this is every time you fight with them, they get another piece of armor? Yeah. Oh, I had... Sorry, chat. I had my gear grid switched. It, it's the correct car character. Ca Cavalco had it. I had their name switched on the overlay. That's what extra confused me, probably. Probably. All right, so Josh, we need a D10 to be rolled. I'm going to have chat do it. Um, okay, so we're going to add one to this value. Let's see what they roll. Did Death Row card give us a plus one to the end result or no? Sometimes they do. Uh, each survivor gains one random fighting art. Okay. I'm assuming they mean living survivor. What? I'm assuming they mean living survivor. Yeah. I mean, that one can get one too. It's not <laughs> useful though. All right. So first up is going to be for green. And next up is going to be for ro 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 red. So let's see what green got here, Joshua. Mighty strike on a perfect hit. Gain plus two strength until the end of the attack. Give me another one. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Red gets Propulsion Drive. At the start of the showdown, you gain a Momentum status card. When you attack, if you have 5 plus Momentum tokens, remove them all and roll D10. The amount of luck and strength when attempting to win the first selected hit location is the roll result. That's cool. I have really good fighting arts with this character. With Red? Red Fist. Yeah. King Step. And Propulsion Drive. And Rhythm Chaser. Oh. What do I get rid of? You get rid of Rhythm Chaser. Like, you don't get rid of Red Fist. Definitely don't yeah. get rid of Red Fist. Okay. So we're coming back to the settlement, Joshua. We get two basic resources because two people died. Yay. And we have one Endeavor left at the moment. Skulls. I hope they're skulls. It's the monster organs. And some mystery meat. Those aren't skulls. Oh, well. Oh, we already took the skull from the deck. It's in our pile of stuff from the last fight. Because uh, you don't reset the the stuff yet. So what do you want to do with that one endeavor there, Joshy Bear? Do you want to eat a skull? Eat a skull or innovate? I think we should eat a skull. Because we need to beef up for our next fight. No? You don't have like any really super cool characters. Yeah, because you killed them all. The chat killed them all. No, you killed them all. You purposely rolled bad until it was just you, so that you could pretend you're heroic. Right? Right, Josh? Just say right. Right, man! Uh, Humorous would have leveled up again, too. It's disappointing. It's very disappointing. What are you doing? Put a pull up. What kind of pull? Uh, what we should do with our last endeavor. Uh, what are you going to do with all that junk? All that junk inside your trunk. So, 
I kept I saw the regal knees had like a affect some AI cards, but did we just get rid of the AI cards that that affects early? Because I didn't see anything that that actually affected. Uh, it could also be not in the deck that we did. We have not innovated. We did we we haven't got to the stage yet because we had uh we had to fight first. Can't believe Coup de Gras came up. Uh, King's Walk. It's a mood. Uh, Neil. It's an intimidate action. They're both advanced cards. Oh. Freaking Coup de Gras. Okay. Uh, chat saying innovate. Innovate, okay. And keep on inverting. I gotta like build the innovation deck a little bit because we got Hovel at the end of last stream and never updated the deck. We never updated. Oh, we did keep Hovel, so we definitely did have five survival. Whatever. I hate you. I hate you more. No, you're rude. You're rude. You smell. You're crude. You're yeah. a rude, crude dude. Oh. What? No, we did that already. What? We did Gorm Climate. Gorm Climate happens next year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's do the hovel. Hovel, 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 hovel. Meow, 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 meow. So many hovel stuff. 17, actually, to be exact. 17,000? Um, 69,420. But we protected our shit from the Kingsman, so yeah! Protected our house! Was it really worth it? Was the house worth it? Oh, find out. Okay. We only lost two of our three coolest survivors. We have two cool survivors still. I know. But the zero presence one is kind of... That one kind of hurts to lose. You know? <laughs> All right, so we're going to draw two innovations. Uh, I want the two good ones. LOL, the Lantern Spear is just laying on the ground outside our settlement, and we can't turn it into a guidepost. No. We're just like, this is dumb. I don't like it. You just leave it there. All right, so Josh. Oh, I know what we're picking. You don't even no, need to no, no, I'm putting a pull up. Okay. Because they, 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 they did us out of the way. What's the other one? <laughs> I mean, it, it, it isn't a choice, but Twitch trolled us last time. Yeah, that was true. So, you know. It was crowded in that one hut, so killing two people helps a lot. <laughs> <laughs> the first one. Thanks, Lucia. Thanks. Thanks. So, you want to go over them? No, nah, not really. So Memento Mori may be used once per settlement phase. You can spend an endeavor there and roll a d10 on a 1. Nothing happens. 2 through 3. Gain insanity f of gain the insanity of the dead survivors. This is only if someone's dead. Someone dies. Okay. Uh, on a 4 through 6. Painful memories gain the courage and understanding of the dead survivor. And a 9 through 10. Profound memories gain the hunt experience of the dead survivor. So you, could, you, you It can only be someone dying in the last showdown which is the problem and then inner lantern which gives us the surge ability which is uh for a survival action you can do another activation uh Nayabari, it's something twitch added it's like part of twitch i want to try something out after like we're finished stream i want to do a test poll this would do something because no. there's some extra options in it but i don't know exactly how they work no i don't want it you're my queen okay it started off with all the votes going to Memento Mori. Okay. Like, it has three votes, but then Inner Lantern came in with 11 votes. Okay. So Thank um, you, guys. Um, Not that we will be having extra endeavors to spend at the top of chat. Okay. So I think you can go ahead and close it out, and we'll be getting our Inner Lantern. Okay. Now we can search. Now we can beat stuff up a lot quicker. Yeah. Like, a lot quicker. Good. So we could take the two good people and bring out some newbies and train them. Yeah. And get them ready. That's pretty much what's going to happen. I see nothing. I see nothing. Inner Lantern wins. Okay. So, Jersh. Yes. What else do we have to do? That's that's it. That's pretty much it, huh? Um, 
we can make some gear and stuff if you want to do that now. And we'll do it in the, the pre-stream okay. next time. But, folks, thank you all for joining us today. This is going to conclude today's presentation of Twitch Plays Kingdom Death. Josh, what is our population looking like? Um, one, two. <laughs> <laughs> what? Three, four, five. You're dead. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve survivors. Twelve total survivors. All right. So thank you all for joining us today. This is going to conclude today's presentation of Twitch Plays Kingdom Death. Make sure that you are following us on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and come chat with us on our Discord channel. Where? Uh, you can come play games with me in the KDM Discord channel about squishing bugs and getting candy. All right. <laughs> Josh, can you get back to the real game now? The deer need you. The loops. All right. So if you have Amazon Prime, you've got Twitch Prime, which means you get one free sub every month. Uh, and we'd love it if you used it on us. If yeah. you are not an Amazon Prime member, if you're one of like the three people in the United States or in the world that don't have Amazon Prime, I feel like everyone has Amazon Prime these days. Most people do. Other thing is, I haven't put it up yet, but the subscriber giveaway mm -hmm. for the 3D printed stuff. Hmm. I need to send the code out. I'll probably send it out tonight or tomorrow morning. So make sure you subscribe so you get the email. So go do that now. Do so it if right you do now. the twist giveaway link. I don't know how. Or the giveaway. I don't remember which one it is. Yeah, you got it. You did it. <laughs> Amazon Prime is shit for people who don't have Amazon in their country. Amazon's everywhere. It's even in the Amazon. That's it. I don't think so. <laughs> um, please make sure you're joining us for all of our upcoming streams. So thank you for the subscription, Dark. Hold on, I want to see what he said. Oh, okay. Guess it's not going to read it. So that's cool. Yeah, I, I don't know what it said either. Um, so then tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern time, we've got our spotlight of Talisman Batman uh, by the op. Oh, uh, Dark Sisal, yeah, I need my Jamal code. Jamal is mine. <laughs> so the app, um, that's tomorrow. So yeah, big tomorrow. shout out to them for sponsoring um, this stream and all of this week's streams. Sadly, Pat's not going to be able to join us. <gasps> oh, no. Uh, he's in Europe, apparently. They don't have internet in Europe? I, I think know, he's on, like, on vacation or something. He's it's also, like, super late when we're yeah, streaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we have that going on, which would be cool. And then uh, Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern time next week. Is uh, Matlas Madara Mondays. Veterans Day, too. And uh, what happened with Madara this past week, Josh? We beat everything up. And, like, it was kind of like our white line fight last week. Ah, gotcha. Uh, in Madara form. Gotcha. I heard Anne had some trouble, though. Uh, she got hit. Like, she's the only one that got hit. <laughs> and then we had uh, Podrick with us, and she just killed him. Podrick? Uh, yeah, the, the barkeep. We're looking for a shotgun. Oh, okay. He looked kind of like Spencer from Late Night Tabletop. And then next week at 8 p.m., uh, Eastern Time on Tuesday is our continuation of Twitch Plays Kingdom of Death going into Lantern Year. Or we're still in the Lantern Year. We're not going into it. This wasn't a normal fight. This was a special encounter. Kingsman tried to destroy our house and we said, no, screw you. And then they destroyed two of us instead. I think it's year five. Thank you. <laughs> no, six. I think All they right. update count the count. Stop talking. Other Josh was wrong. Just, just stop talking. So with that, signing off, I'm Matt. I'm Josh. Have a good one, everyone. Goodbye.